just over a week ago, OpenAI released their GPT store, and we already have over 3 million custom versions of ChatGPT. In this video, we will look at my top 5 GPTs as a creator and a programmer, and I'll also explain why I think they are different than the rest of GPTs. The first GPT we are going to look at is called Grimoire. It's already trending in the top 4 of the trending GPTs on GPT Store. Grammar is a coding wizard that will let you create a website or literally anything with a single sentence. And there are a whole bunch of hotkeys for coding flows. So let's uh, test it out. I asked it to write a simple snake game in HTML, include all the code in a single file. Whenever you run a prompt, it will greet you in a pretty nice way. Then it tells it wh what exactly it's going to implement. So here's a step-by-step -step plan. There's going to be HTML code, CSS styling, JavaScript logic, and then how the game is going to be controlled. And here it implemented the HTML code in a single file. Okay, so I'm going to just copy this. And we're going to go into this online HTML editor, paste all the code, so click run. And now the game is up and running. Okay, I'm pretty bad at it. Okay, at least I got one. So the game works. This is pretty nice. Now you can do exactly the same with GPT-4, but it gives you a custom interface that you can use to create programming projects. The next GPT we're going to look at is called NVIDIA AI, and they are actually the sponsor of this video. Apart from being the sponsor, it has already been downloaded over 25,000 times. So it is a famous GPT. And I personally really like the idea behind it. So this generates stunning narrated videos for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and Shorts. But it's very different than other AI video generators. Now, unlike other AI video generators, InVideo AI takes your prompt, creates a compelling script based on the prompt, then look up for stock images and videos to create B-rolls. And you can also add voiceover, add background music, and a whole bunch of other transitions and enhancements. And the video can be of any length you want. So let's uh, test this out. Here's my prompt. Create a funny YouTube short about crazy cat facts narrated by a woman with a British accent. So it came up with the video. And in order to access this video, we're going to need to click on this link. Now, when you click on this, it will take you to the website. You will have to log in. And if you don't have an account, you can actually create one for free. So right now, it's working on the video. This will take a few minutes. Okay, so here's the video that it created. Let's Crazy have a look. cat facts coming your way. Did you know that your feline friend's night vision is impeccable? Thanks to a special reflective layer behind their eyes known as the tapetum lucidum, they're practically nocturnal ninjas. And here's a fun one. Every cat's nose print is as unique as a human fingerprint. So if your kitty ever turns to cry, now, as you can see, in some cases, there are watermarks on the videos, but you can remove those if you upgrade to the paid account. This was pretty good. It added a relevant background music, which was pretty nice. Now, for some reason, if you're not happy with the output video, you can actually change it just by prompting it. So you can change the voice to a male voice, change it to, let's say, a southern accent, add another B-roll, add music or even transitions. So let's say we want to change the voiceover to a male voice with southern accent and we also want to remove the background music. So let's click generate again and it has started working. Now in order to use the InVideo GPT you will need the plus subscription of ChatGPT just like any other GPT. Okay so it has completed the processing. Let's see what changes did it make crazy cat facts coming your way. Did you know that your feline friend's night vision is impeccable? Thanks to a special reflective layer behind their eyes known as the tapetum lucidum, they're practically not... Okay, so it did change the voice to a male voice. Probably it doesn't really sound like a southern accent. However, it did remove the background music, which was pretty nice. And it automatically added these captions. If you like, you can actually edit the individual frames as well. You can get started for absolutely free with InVideo AI. However, to remove the watermarks from your videos, you will have to upgrade to their paid plan, which I highly recommend. Check out the InVideo AI GPT 
link is going to be in the description. They also have an iOS app which has a very similar interface. The next GPT I personally like very useful is called Consensus, which has over 700,000 downloads. This is your AI research assistant, which has access to over 200 million academic papers. One of the biggest problem with these large language models is hallucination because they make up stuff. However, Consensus will generate answers for your queries and ground them in actual academic papers. I asked, does fish oil improve mood? Use human randomized controlled trials from top journals. And here's the response that it started generating. It states, the impact of fish oil and mood has been investigated in various human randomized controlled trials published in top journals. Here is the summary of the findings. Right? So for example, inconsistent impact on mood and cognition in young adults. And here's a reference. Now the great thing is you can just click on this and this will take you to the actual paper, which is pretty amazing. So think of this as it's doing rag on all the available papers within the consensus platform. There is another one called Scholar GPT, which is very similar to consensus, but it has access to much larger database. So I think it looks at Google Scholar, PubMed. Now, if you notice, there are a whole bunch of copycats because it's very easy to replicate the behavior of a given GPT because essentially these are just custom instructions. As a content creator, I use Canva a lot and there is a Canva GPT as well. For example, I said I need a thumbnail for a YouTube video on custom GPTs. Create a thumbnail with multiple AI agents working together and it came up with two options. Just like in video AI, if I click on any one of these options, this will take me to Canva. So for example, here is the thumbnail that it created and I can continue modifying this thumbnail here. Designer GPT is another one that I like a lot. And if you can see, there are a whole bunch of copycats. In a previous video, I showed you how to actually extract the custom instructions from some of these GPTs and also how to safeguard yourself against it. I really like the simple description of this designer GPT, which is creates and hosts beautiful websites. So let's say we want to create a tech startup homepage. Let's click on that. You will actually have to allow these GPTs to talk to outside servers. So just be mindful of that. So it created a website and provided us with a link. So let's click on this and you can see it came up with a simple website. This is pretty neat. Now, if you want to further modify the website, you can continue working with this GPT and it will give you updated versions. The next two we're going to look at are related to AI agent frameworks. So for example, right now I'm exploring this crew AI framework and it has a GPT as well. So for example, I can ask this GPT to explain the main concepts behind crew AI and it starts listing the main concepts behind crew AI, which is pretty neat. It talks about the agent-based modeling, roles and goals of these agents, task assignments and management, what are the processes and how the execution flow looks like. So this is basically a documentation of Crew AI. Similar to Crew AI GPT, there is one for Autogen as well, and this is called Autogen Builder. So the concept is very similar. It's an AI agent framework that will let you create a different agents that will collaboratively work together to accomplish certain tasks. I think this is going to become a trend that we will see custom GPTs, which are essentially trained on documentations of different tools and packages that developers or companies will release. Logo Creator is another very famous GPT that lets you create professional looking logos and designs. So for example, I asked it to generate me a logo featuring an ice cream, and then it gave me different options, right? So I said, skip all questions and generate logo using the default options immediately. That was option D. Then it asks me whether I want a single uh, logo design or nine different designs. So I said nine different designs. And here are the designs that it came up with. Now you can do most of this with GPT-4 with custom prompting. And in some cases, you can also extract the custom prompts with these local GPTs just by prompt injection. 
as I have shown in my previous video. Now, this brings me to my final thoughts on the GPT store and custom GPTs. As we have seen in the previous video, it's actually possible to extract the custom instruction that we use to create these GPTs in most of the cases. However, I think the GPTs which are going to be actually useful and successful in the long runs are the ones that are relying on proprietary data as well as on their custom APIs. So for example, in the case of InVideo AI or something like Canva, they're using their proprietary APIs and their own platform. So you have to navigate out of the chat GPT platform to go to their platform in order to complete the operations. And that might be the only moat that these companies have. In most of the cases, it's a lot easy to replicate the behavior of GPTs using custom instructions. But if you have these custom APIs and proprietary data, it's going to be extremely hard to replicate that behavior. This was a quick overview of some of the GPTs that I personally use. Let me know what you think. If there are interesting GPTs you would like me to explore, I mention those in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.